Hello and welcome back to Wingot Plays on uh, Elysium Remastered with Wingot Artinius. Today I think we are going to continue with heading up towards the Greybeards and on the way we have the Voltan Towers that we always seem to have to fight but we got that bounty actually to kill or capture the bandit leader located at Voltan Towers. So I th think we will go Go complete that quest on our way to head towards Ivarstead this episode in order to work towards heading up towards the Greybeards as our first objective. Because once we unlock the ability to do more powerful shouts and also effectively collect the other, the other shouts that are around, it's something that I've never really played with, but I think it will sort of enhance our ability to be magical if we also have the power of the Thum backing us up. That said, on the way, we've got the Ritual Stone just up top there, and so we will, I think, swing by and grab that stone. Not that we're going to be using it. What's going on there? Uh, I think they're fighting me. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Set one. We can have a frame action arc. Stake two. Let's bring out our command spell. Let's see if we can grab one of them. Resist it. You. Oh, I've got a. Perfect. Now, where'd my horse go? There you go. It's running away, I think. Uh, I think she died. Interesting, I don't see a single corpse around. Very weird. Okay, let's see what we can do about heading up there, though. But it does look like... Ooh, we did manage to activate something or other up there. Ah, and that was a skeleton that I just hit. We'll grab another flame matronarch over here. Bone wolf, okay. Lucian is trying to die. Ah. Okay, let's grab elemental bolt. And kill this necromancer. Perfect. The Talos mistake. Okay. Uh, give it soul gems and the potions. And then I don't think we want anything else that it's got. So what's going on over there? Is that another necromancer? Oh. Good. Robes of quickening. I'll grab those. Uh, and there's nothing else you've got there. That's interesting. Now, we've got Lydia, we've got Janessa, and there's Lucian. Perfect. So let's head up top and grab that ritual stone. Maybe we can stop getting caught on the terrain. What was that? Headless Skeleton Skirmisher. Uh, ooh, what did the engine not bow? Perfect. I don't like the look of this ritual stone. Um, no, I don't want it, but I wanted to add it to the museum. Perfect. Ancient North Sword, fine. Uh, Conjure Under Dying Ghost. Oops, I don't think I wanted that bow. Okay, cool. Now let's head back down to the road there. Hello. Okay, 
Okay, good. Now, let's just use that spell book. Uh, spell time. Plunger, Undying Ghost. Good. This is glorious. Don't you just love a bit of rain? Ooh, what's that? Okay, we'll grab that bone meal. And I've already loaded that one. Perfect. So now we're heading to... The towers over there. I already forget what it's called though. The Voltime Towers. There we go. So let's just quickly save. Good. Okay. Am I just hungry? Is that all that's going on? Yes. Okay. Let's. Eat a bit more cabbage. Oh, cooked beef, that was probably a mistake. Yes, I know I'm chilly. Well done, towers. Yep, there's a toll, I know. Oh, wow. Let's try that again. Except I was trying to dismount further away and where her talking won't screw us up. Because she's meant to tell, you, tell us there's a toll and demand that we pay, but her friend there started attacking us immediately. See what we can do about maybe dismounting around here. And then we can save there. Oh, now let's see if we can use a command to grab one of these guys. There we go. Where'd she go? I just hit the other one as well though, perfect. Hmm. I've had real problem clearing out this keep previously. So I'm taking trying to take it a bit cautiously. I think Lydia's just gone down and I don't want to kill her. That band of oh friggin' horse. I don't think I can get past the horse. Definitely did not think you were a pretty face. I'm trapped, I'm trapped. I can't see anything. Oh. Ah. Keep being trapped on things. I don't want to engage you. Chief's good. Chief's dead. That's one. Horse is out of the way. Perfect. Good. Why is everything so dark?
Good. I need to heal. I'm also very low on my magicka. Okay, let's see if we can conjure another flame matronarch. That is a werewolf, isn't it? Everything dead. Uh, I don't think I need any of this for the museum. That works fine. Okay, Lydia, hi. I don't think he's got anything good. Still great sort of sparks. Okay, oh, I'm going too much. Fine. Bandit Little Finger of the Mountains. Cool. Now, that's Lucian. Where's Janessa? There's Janessa. Doing her spinny thing. There we go. There's someone up there somewhere. Janessa, oh, I need to speak to you. I need to get some, rid of some of this inventory that's really weighing me down. Of course. Cool. So, I've got that great sword, halberd, a couple of random bows, ancient Nord sword, and then probably. Oh, no, no armor. What? Oh, I've got those bones, don't I? I don't need to be carrying all of those. 115, that's a lot better. And then, I'm not sure what's really weighing us down at this point. 110, because I think I've uploaded pretty much everything important. And she's got these ingots. Well, we're down to about 100. That should do. Let's go. Okay, One now, back off. I think there's one last guy in here. Okay, this guy, I need to collect his head. Perfect. Oops. And then 200 septums, I'll take that. I'll take that rapier. And those gauntlets. Perfect. Let's drop a save. I was thinking we were going to run out of food, but that does seem to have solved that issue there. Uh, we'll grab that ale. Is that tomatoes? No tankards. A bit of extra bread. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's, all, it's approaching night, so it's probably worth going to sleep before continuing on. But I'm pretty sure there was still someone alive somewhere around here. I don't see them at the moment. So for now we'll sleep. We'll actually grab the level up because we hit level 18, I believe it was. After killing the dragon? Yeah, when we handed in those two quests. But if we grab some sleep to pass us through the night. And we can grab another point of stamina. Good. Excellent. And then if we head down here, let's head up over to the other side. Turn the lantern on. 
Okay, that's the same one. You, let's grab your septums. Cornlets. And we'll take the meat. There we go. This province is a real magic problem. I feel like there are more of them. There are normal people. Cabbage, tomato, carrots, and tomatoes. Some septums. Is that iron? Yep. Mm, might as well. We'll grab it. I don't know if I think it's on me. I think Janessa's has got it. That's fine. think any of these books. I'll grab that one because apparently we need it for the museum. And oh, novice, easy, well I'm not that. Septum's lockpick. Galatite in God, what's galatite? Hmm, okay. Oh, we could have slept in a better bed. Oops. I'll grab all of those. Grab the painting just because it's valuable. The black arrow, that'll be arch. I think we've already got it. Septums. Common clothes, don't care about. What's this chest? Septums. We'll take the arrows card and oh, turquoise. Perfect. And then. Jeez. Kind of go of a version, let's say that. Okay, good. I think we've cleared out this place. And there's nothing else to do in the area, I don't think. So, cool. We'll head back to our horse. And we will continue on to Eye Buster. Who's that down there? Who that was that was running away? healing spell you got there, buddy. 120 septums, awesome. Uh, Settle of minor alteration, braces of major wielding. Good. That should be everything we need. That's my 153. Perfect. Horsey, stop. Thank you. Oh, are they fighting someone as well? Oh, mum crabs. <laughs> awesome. So now, back onto the track to head towards I I said. I've previously had a lot of trouble with killing that tower. I'm just going to check that body. Yep, I hadn't looted it yet. Okay, I don't need the steel crossbow apparently. Good. Yes, pretty happy with being able to clear that out and fairly easily compared to previous attempts that I've had on other playthroughs. 
where I would just wipe over and over and over again. So again, I think, despite how long it took, getting all those extra levels by doing the Radiant quests was definitely a good thing. That said, there's a crash. The last time we saved, well, we would have saved when we slept. So I will see you in just a moment once we are back in game. And welcome back. Sorry about that. The game does like to just occasionally crash randomly and it does take a while to boot back into the game. So thank you for your patience and for you it basically was no time at all though. I'm just continuing along the path towards Ivarstead and it looks like we've got a fight developing here on this bridge so let's back off a little bit and see. I don't think I'm not sure that they're actually hostile to us. They seem to be fighting maybe mud crabs there? Bandits. Okay. Uh, we may as well grab this loot though. Uh, brace is fine. And where's your friend? Their prisoner. Oh, so the prisoner must have fought back. That said, if these are bandits, then they may decide to attack us. No, they're guards. Okay, right. So maybe a bandit came in to try to free the prisoner, something like that. So it looks like we're pretty safe. Might go just check out what that cave is on the way. We won't actually go inside the cave, but we'll at least get it. Oh, I believe this is the bandit knife's cave. Lost knife hideout. There you go. I actually went and cleared that out fairly early on in my previous playthrough. Well, previous attempted playthrough. The, there was an update to the mod pack and it was non-safe compatible. And so that's what prompted me updating and then actually starting my recorded playthrough with a new character on the current version of the mod, what, what was the current version of the mod pack, 1.3. There has now been a 1.4 release, which is also not safe compatible, so I'm not going to be updating to that one because, yeah, obviously wouldn't be able to continue playing this, uh, this character. But the, there was definitely a lot more crashes and issues with the 1.2 version that I was using compared to 1.3. Yes. 1.3 does have some crashing, but it's, it seems to be substantially better, and the lighting is substantially better, and there were a few mods that got added or changed that I prefer, the way that they set up in 1.3, and all sorts of things like that, where I'm very happy to stay with 1.3 for this playthrough, and maybe in future I update to the most recent versions of Elysium Remastered at the time but I also suspect I might just want to uninstall and free up the 250 gigs that is being used. Have we? I think we've missed the turn off. So let's... this is just gonna go east. Uh, there is a I think there is a road that might connect in here fairly soon that's going to take us up in the right direction. Mainly we just need to get up this cliffside. And then I think we can probably make our way across, even if we have to go cross country. But I am looking to see if there is a turn off, and in fact, ooh, there you go, there's a turn off towards Ibusted. So I was right, the road here looks like it is the correct one. But yeah, I suspect when I eventually finish this playthrough, I probably won't upgrade to the new version and start a new playthrough because I'll have plenty of other things that I do want to play as well. And I've got limited time outside of work. So 
Ow, that hurt. No. No. Okay. Let's see if it's possible to salvage this save, or do I have to go all the way back to the damn tower? I hope I don't have to go all the way back to the tower. I did notice my followers were nowhere to be seen, though. And they would have they would have helped out there if they were around. Okay. Let's... Ooh. What's happening? What's happening? Why am I already taking damage? Okay. Yeah, I... Okay, if I'm taking damage before I even load into the game, then I'm going to have to definitely go back to the previous save. Let's see. Am I dead? What is going on? What the hell is going on? Fine. Let's try one more load. If it doesn't work, then I'm definitely going to have to go back to the previous save, which is unfortunate. I can't see much of what's going on. Let's see. Plentiful healing. Will that work? I don't know why everything's so dark. Let's try loading the this save here. If everything's still so dark there, then I might actually just call this episode. And next time we start up Skyrim, it'll probably fix the issue. But it almost looks like there's a texture loading issue was that which was happening. Yeah, because it's eight it's eight AM. Yeah. Very weird bug affecting the previous save as well. So yeah, it looks like Skyrim itself is broken for the time being. So Thank you for watching, stay happy and healthy, and I hope to see you in the next one, when we will finally get to Ivarstead and head up towards the Greybeards.